Today we are gathered together to mark the extraordinary occasion of the opening of three new elementary schools. Whenever we design schools, we try and create environments that will be supportive of how children learn, that support the way that educators think about learning. And we had old elementary schools, so we right away said we want to do something different with libraries. And really most of this came from teachers and principals saying, you know, only one class can go at a time, and it's scheduled. So we moved to this learning corridor concept, where the library is almost a continuous presence throughout the building. Recent neurological research has really given us new insights into how we all learn. Being very active, that mind-body engagement really helps reinforce learning. So what does that mean for school? It means that you want to have places where children can move around, where children can build things. You want to have project-based activities. Another important idea is collaboration. Brains learn best when they work in concert with one another. We all learn in different ways. Schools need to have different types of spaces that support those different types of learning. Instead of just being crowded in one spot, you get to go help others and go to different places. It makes learning feel very special. And every time we move to another place, a change of scenery is fantastic for kids so they're not feeling stale. Now here there's like there's the nook here and then there's the project areas and our classrooms and the library. So there's a lot more spaces to work. We are about learning, and learning takes place not just in classrooms, but everywhere in this building. Everywhere you look, in a nook or a cranny, there's a place for learning to take place. There's a place for kids to collaborate. One of the places that we're all coveting right now is the story room upstairs, which is this wonderful circular room, cozy and warm. You want me to do this another time? Learning Commons is a very open place. There's a lot of visual connection, so the teachers are becoming more confident in knowing that their students will be under passive supervision no matter where they are in the building. The openness of the space also has a great impact on the teacher's ability to communicate with one another. There are significant areas for displaying student work. Kids take great pride when they see their work being displayed. And when kindergartners see second graders do things, they think, oh, that's achievable. Up there, um, there's like little, like boxes. It absorbs the sound really, and it isn't so echoey when you speak. And it's like, oh, everybody will be able to hear. Acoustics are incredibly important within a school. As adults, we need only hear a portion of a conversation, and often we have enough context that we can understand what's being said. But for a young child, if you can't hear every word, you don't have that contextual backdrop to fill in what's missing. There have been studies done that show that students learn more readily in naturally lit environments. So we work very hard to bring natural light into every space. I like the pictures like where the little rooms are, because um, like it's about Crystal McCall, if it's like in one part there's a spaceship, in another there's Saturn, in one more there's a rocket ship. We know that students have to be emotionally engaged to learn well. We want our students to be good independent workers, good collaborative workers, problem solvers. We want them to stretch themselves in terms of research and synthesizing and communicating everything they've learned. If within our schools we can create places that the students enjoy, that they associate that sense of joy with learning, then that will help everyone understand that learning is a wonderful part of life. We spent a lot of time behind closed doors or working in isolation, and the learning corridor changes all of that. Teaching for a long time has been classroom-based, and to get it out of the classroom is one of the dreams that I've always had, and that's why I'm kind of on the cusp of retirement, but wouldn't happen until after I got to teach in this building. <laughs> because you're not always stuck in the same place, like, like, because you're always like just looking for some inspiration and stuff. It makes us feel like we're trusted. And we're like, we're growing up and we're responsible. Like if you walked in here, you wouldn't think it was the kind of place where it's like a boring work job where it's not very fun. You'd think of it as, wow, this is a cool and it, and it appears to be a school for kids. It just it even looks like it. And the colors are just very like bright and fun. It's not like the opposite of boring.